Thank you, Adam. It is 6:43, and a Pittock Mansion Christmas is back. Yeah, it's a for, it's a Portland favorite around here. Core Harlan live to show us what we can expect this year. Core. Well, this is uh, really cool. The 16,000 foot Pittock Mansion uh, comes to life here every holiday season. They've got to decorate it out here. Of course, the grand stairwell is uh, really a big feature of this house. 16,000 feet in all, and it is uh, uh, themed this year. Uh, with a little theme called the wonderful world of books and what they have done is they've gone through about 18 rooms of the house here and put a book in there and sort of decorated the room around the theme of the book. Patty Larkin is the curator here at uh, Pittock Mansion this morning. How are you doing? Good. good. Yeah. Very good. Glad to have you here. First of all, I want to just touch on the history of the house a little bit. Of course, Henry Henry Pittock uh, was sort of given the paper, the Oregonian mm -hmm. paper back in the late mm -hmm. 1800s in, the, in lieu of wages. Would you sort of, you, you, you summarize this for me, would you tell me the story that the Pittock Mansion tells just a little bit? Uh, really, it's it's an example of just one family whose history paralleled the history of Portland itself. You know, uh, Henry and Georgiana Pittock came over on the Oregon Trail, arrived when it was just a little muddy village, not really a big city yet, and grew along with it. That's really cool. So every year they go through the house here, and there are how many bedrooms on this floor? There's four floors here. There's five bedrooms on this floor. Henry had a suite of his own, a pretty solid master suite, as did Georgiana. And they've gone through each uh, 18 of these rooms, as I say, and, and put a theme of a book in here. And this uh, is a one of the... Uh, Orphan daughters, I guess, that they orphan took nieces, in. Yes, orphan they, nieces, yes. They had two, right? two nieces that moved in along with the family. The theme here is Cinderella. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, so we've got Cinderella getting dressed for the ball here, a little bit of assistance from some helpful birds. But yeah, she's, she's ready to go off and meet the prince. Well, if you're, if you're into this, and I, and I can't imagine you wouldn't be, this is really a cool way to learn a little bit about Portland's early history, the 1800s, uh, here at Pittock Mansion this morning. And you can come by here and uh, get a taste of a little... Uh, modern literature as well in 18 of these rooms. And Jay, I want you to do this for me. Jenny and Ken, I don't know if you can see it out the window. Show the folks, shut your light down. Show the folks out the window the view that the Pittocks uh, had from uh, upstairs here. I don't know if you can see just the sun coming up behind Mount Hood over there to the east. It is a beautiful setting up here in the West Hills. Pittock Mansion open every day this month, uh, with the exception of December the 25th here, for you to come around here and have a look at not only the Pittock Mansion, but the wonderful world of books that it has been themed with as well. Jenny and Ken? We did get a good view of uh, Mount Hood and the sun just getting ready to rise. Uh, from that window, beautiful sight up there at oh, Pittock yeah. Mansion. One yeah. of the prettiest sunrises pretty in the awesome. world, probably. Yep. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank right. you, Cor. Thanks, Cor.